Hello, my beautiful collective. Um, we are going to be using probably the before tarot. I had the after tarot deck as well. Um, but I just got this deck and I completely forgot about it. So this is the um, before. This is the after. Or no, this is the before. This is the after. <laughs> so I hope everybody is well. We are going to be getting some messages. Um, I want to start the read off with, um, uh, let's see, I want to start the read off, boy, I don't know if my mind's been, been like, playing, playing tricks on me lately, but I feel like shit's just been, like, moving on its own, or falling, so I don't know if I, this, I already know I have a ghost here that I've seen outside my house, a big ghost before, um, like, a, ma a masculine, but I don't, um, recall I don't know I, I bought a phone to use to record a long time ago with and I still have not found that phone so all right um we're gonna start out with my my oracle oh we're gonna ring the bell I want to clear the energies guys I'm feeling like that's necessary um my oils are ready up and going we have protection oil um, we have guardian angel oil for all purpose protection. Um, we have lunar moon, we have facial glow, which is a, like Botox. Um, look at my bio and you can see my link, my Facebook link, um, to check out my oils and purchase them. They come with glitter and two crystals when you purchase them. We have Butterfly Kisses, which is a sweet flower smell. We have my signature Sex Love and Me. It's a Lust Libido Hysteria. We have More, which I love the smell of Sex Love and Me and Lunar Moon. Uh, More, which is a woodsy drowning smell. And we have, um, it's called Eight Chakras Oil. It's for all your chakras, crown included. There's typically seven. Um, the third eye, you know, the throat, the heart. The crown is actually a chakra where you get a lot of your energy comes in through your brain, you know, through your skull, your brain. So that we have that oil. We, I have zodiac sign oils, all 12 of them, um, and that I offer. And also we have a new one that I just made, did a tutorial. It's called Uncrossing Oil. It's for protection um, against curses, hexes, evil eyes. Um, behavioral patterns and um, things of that nature. So we have that. Uh, I also have I think that's it. Yeah. So oils $9.99 through $9.99 shipping. Um, also they come with a green tourmaline crystal and a blue kyanite. Also, I'm doing personal readings. They're $40. And perks to being a member, you get every day, once a day at your request, a free three card spread, a pull. And I do do clarifiers. I will send it via email through a picture. And then if you want um, your Zodiac sign video done as well that week for you and your significant other, somebody you're inquiring about, um, or any messages, you get that free as well for being a member, two ninety nine a month. So, and my goal with this membership or with my channel is to obviously help people um, and deliver the message for love and romance. But also, um, I work with energies. I use my intuition. I'm very uh, intuitive, clear audience. Um, meaning, I've heard spirits, but I don't do good if people were just to be like hey can you channel so and so my family member i'm not good in that sense but i do uh hear spirits more so on the darker realms like i uh hear demons um torturing people in hell so i hear um purgatory more of that sense um also what else um I can see spirits, ghosts. I'm very sensitive to energies, spirits. Um, and I see a lot of 
I can I worked with also the fae, the elemental spirits, and I can see animal spirits as well. Um, even when the when it's dark and my eyes are shut, I can still see spirits. So um, anyway, in my mind's eye. Um, personal readings forty dollars. Email me all my informations there as well. Um, my oils they come with glitter. Um, they'll come with the crystals. Also, I'm doing a raffle. Last thing I want to share before we begin um, for the Gilded Tarot and a Runes Oracle deck with two little bottles, sample size bottles of the oil of your choice for the winner. They get to pick out of all the oils I offer. Oh, and I also offer Venus Love Oil for anointing. Um, I'm working with her. Um, my cash app and Venmo card are in my bio if you would like to send any gifts or donations to greatly help, you know, help the channel out. Um, so I can make my tutorial videos. And that's another thing. If you request or need a video um, or have questions and advice or any questions, email me as well or comment. I do read all my comments and I will get back to you. All right. So let's begin. We have no, we have soulmates, we have envious, we have white trash, we have regular, we have unawoke, we have friend zone, and we have freckles or beauty marks. Like always, if these don't apply, let them fly. Only take the messages if they make sense or, you know, don't make, don't force them to fit. We have dream state. I also want to roll the dice as well, my astrology dice and the runes dice. I have a really nice runes oracle deck, it's called Cosmic Whisper. It was quite pricey, but it's um, very thick to replicate real wood. It's a really nice runes deck that I usually use. It's kind of under two decks right now, so. Alright, let's tap in. We have friend zone, so somebody may be... Um, we have blood donor that came out with love ask again. So if you're inquiring about love, oh, and I found out today how to properly hold a pendulum. You wrap it around your finger two times and it holds itself up. You just wanna pull it so it's right there. Okay, so this actually works. This is one of the longest pendulums I've had for a while. This is Opalite. So I'm going to ask it a question. Show me yes. All right, let me turn my body so you can see. So I was going to go to a haunted walk tonight, me and my mom, um, but it's a little late and I have work in the morning. It's a haunted house, um, paranormal. So we're going to go do that in Cleveland tonight. All right. So show me yes. There it goes. Thank you. And then it should swing back and forth up and down while it's waiting for you to ask it a new question. Show me no. Thank you. Counterclockwise. So if your pendulum, because I tried this earlier, the first one I did was my Moonstone pendulum. I tried this with this one and it didn't move at all. So you want to find a pendulum that instantly um, recognizes your energy. Pendulums, not every pendulum is for every person and not every person is for every pendulum. So that's something to keep in mind. So that's when I grabbed my Opalite and it actually worked and I ordered that online so and I got the moonstone from five below on Amazon I believe I got the opalite years ago 
All right, so we have Blood Donor, we have City Person, we have Pack Rat. So this feels like with the white trash and envious and friend zone, somebody could have been a narcissist. They put you in the friend zone. Yeah, we have a foe. They could have been a very impulsive liar. They could have told you, you know, everything you wanted to hear or tried selling you a dream. Anything else we need to know about this person? I'm getting blonde hair blue eyes this person may have but they may have freckles or beauty marks as well so yeah the reason I made this card love ask again use your intuition and reawake use your intuition and usually if it's pertaining love and you have to sec if you second guess yourself then you know there's your answer right there in itself we have somebody who's younger younger than you so they could also be I'm getting immature energy we have make offerings so if you work with elementals or spirits spirits saying to be more in touch be more grounded at this time pros and cons weigh out your pros and cons um if you don't have spirituality spirits saying to find that now or you know get a move on with that in your life also we could have farm life we have groom and we have on the rise Ooh, somebody could have attended a wedding recently. We have masculine. And this person was obviously unawoken. They are very unspiritual. They probably live out of their ego and um, their pride. We have cold and we have 50-50, not sure. With fey realm and beauty. Okay, so it's your inner beauty that people notice. We have empath with retaliate. So somebody could be trying to retaliate against an empath. This could be you collective because you're awoken. We have moonology with pacifist that wanted to come out. So moonology. We have moon, again, it could be a cancer or have water in your chart. We have user and divorce. So somebody could be still married and is a user. Midnight walk or getting divorced. And we have chakras not blocked. Some of you could have had a run in with the Fae if you were out um, walking. Oh, and I gotta light my candle. I almost forgot. I clipped the bird's wings today. They did not like that at all. Yeah, I had gloves on. Rubber gloves, like fire um, resistant gloves, because they probably would have bitten right through regular like winter gloves. They were biting hard. Um, we have condo and we have negative pregnancy test with faded on the top of the deck. Anything else? We have accidental with Actions speak louder than words. We have unhealthy choices with astral projected. So this person may have, yeah, water sign. Um, tried attacking your cognitive senses, hitting you where it hurts the most, which is your abilities, your gifts, your intuition, um, your chakras. I'm really getting that energy. Manelevant presence, yeah. Malevolent and there's malevolent and benevolent. Benevolent is bad. Malevolent might not be um, all that bad or as bad. Let's pull from. Let's. Okay, we have Virgo in reverse. So the Hermit in reverse. We have the Moon with number one sideways magician energy. Virgo Gemini with the Moon. Cancer, there's your water energy. Monday, feelings, instincts, unconscious, and fertility. We have Menez, intelligence, creativity, skill, and ability. Um, we have pair throw. Initiation, knowledge of one's destiny, knowledge of future. matters determining the future of your path with Kenaz, I think I'm gonna say hold on 
I'm trying to remember. There was a lot of them I'm actually picking up on. Kenna's, yeah. Huh. Kenna's. Vision, a revelation, knowledge, creativity, inspiration, technical ability. All right, we're going to pull from the Forest Fae since we got the card, um, Fae Realm, and I already was going to, I felt drawn to this. Look, there's a moon on the box, so some of you guys need to spend more time in nature. We have the Honey Mother. Sometimes the greatest magic lies in the smallest of forms. Okay, so these reciprocity. Um, there's always a queen bee that keeps everything up and running. So maybe this is where, you, this is your path. This is your part in life. You need to surrender to the divine and accept your calling or maybe awaken to your calling for some of you guys. Working with crystals and um, for you guys, you could work with citrine, topaz, I'm looking at the garnet, red garnet, or brown garnet. They both have really good properties. Um, I'm hearing rutilated quartz. And also, give me one more spirit. Give me one more. I believe I said topaz. Emerald. Emerald or sapphire. Or dragon's blood. All right. We have the old one. The ancestors call, seek their wisdom. Oh, and the box says, how to use the cards. Sit quietly and breathe deeply. Shuffle the deck while thinking of a question or just ask the Fae for guidance. Choose a card at random and discover what message the forest Fae have for you. Perhaps the answers will be clear, or maybe they will ask more questions before they answer. Such is the way of the Fae. And this is a magnetic box. I really like this deck. Curious Messages of Enchantment. Forest Fae, Nadia Turner. And I actually have, if you want to start working with them, I highly recommend the Fairy Bible. and the Psychic Spellcraft. You can get that right from Barnes and Nobles. That's where I got it from. Also, if you are a person who dreams a lot, um, I have the 12,000 Dream Interpretation book from also Barnes and Nobles. We have Green Witch. Connect to the spirits and energy of your local landscape. Seek enchantment. And if you see a lot of bugs, dragonflies, butterflies, um, which I've seen a lot of those today. One flew right in front of me. That's also, they can shape shift. So that's another sign that um, the Fae is around whenever it's um, high vibrational. We have Lady of the Lost, give to others, treasure life and all its magic. They have also a guardian, a pet, a caretaker. Let's get one more. All right. Thank you. We have the Fairy Harbor. Harper. Find the words to long forgotten songs. Oh, and they love music. And dance to the music in your soul. Love, love, love music. Whenever actually you hear music, and it will sound like thumping, like a bass from a house next door that's up late and thumping their music, thumping their music, that's what they sound like, but right next to your head. <laughs> it was pretty cool. All right, and then we have the Troll Fae. Follow the secret signs as treasures can be found where you least expect them. And there's that moon confirmation. All right, at the bottom we have the Green Man. Embrace your wildness. I actually, um, like a couple weeks ago, I want to say a week or two ago, I actually was connecting with his energy. that's a first for me so that was pretty cool it's very exquisite um makes you feel almost like a special energy like a uniqueness um the green man like to connect with his energy it was very cool it was really cool all right so i am being called to this deck oh and he says hello Ooh, 
four of earth at the bottom. I was going to say four of swords. Four of earth, four of pentacles. Justice, six of water. Childhood memories, reconnecting, reminiscing, nostalgia, balance, uh, balancing act, focusing on the here and the now. Um, things may not always be as they seem. This is jet, very protection, protective stone. And I just got this beautiful geoid from Temu. I like to eventually have all the colors, the greens, the pinks, the blues. It's so very pretty. Such is the way of the fae. My favorite colors are pinks and greens. I'm really um, into like, I dated an earth sign of Virgo. So we got along really good because his grounding energy and I love nature as it is. So it was pretty cool. Night of air and justice. Birds, I also connect with birds. I was told when I was a child, when I was younger, a kid, that I was the bee whisperer because I wasn't afraid of bees and I would let them land on me. The only time I ever got stung by a bee was when I stepped on one. Eight of air. All right, something is lofting, floating away from you. Maybe you're getting out of your own way. Maybe your subconscious is doing a majority of the work for you. So you're quick to make practical and biased decisions that, you know, are, that take a lot, like a load off of you at, in that time being. So you don't stress yourself or overwhelm yourself out. Yeah, we have justice. The serpent, you're shutting an old belief, um, a part of yourself. There's two doors. So there's the red door or the blue door. It's almost like, um, the placebo effect or the matrix, you know, this door offers you this, this, and that, and this door will give you eternity of, or, uh, eternity of life, I was going to say. Interesting. We have Elder of Earth. But there's the green man energy. Confirmation. Seven of Air. We have Knight of Air. With Ace of Water, Ace of Cups. Oh, Elder is the, sorry, the um, King of uh, Pentacles. Knight of Air, so Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Libra Energy so far, Justice. Gemini Libra Aquarius, and we have the Taurus Virgo Capricorn Energy. Nine of fire, nine of wands. All right, so something like last night, see how the eyes are coming out of the dark of the forest? There's that bee, the queen, queen bee, queen of air, queen of swords. Um, I was like in a dead sleep and I heard, I thought I heard something like right next to me, but anyway, it must have woke me up or shook me enough where I kind of woke up out of it and I could feel the energy and it almost was like scary and I didn't I don't normally get that energy because you know I do a lot of saging and cleansing um and anyway so my dog got nervous he got scared I could also sense his energy almost like waking up from a bad dream it lasts for about two seconds and then you try not to think about it shut it out and then you end up falling back asleep but, um, I mean, to wake me out of a dead sleep, um, because I'm a heavy sleeper and instantly felt that panic energy, but I also knew, I knew what I was hearing kind of thing. I don't know. It's just odd. So hopefully there wasn't anything going on. So we have nine of fire, nine of wands, defending yourself, the wounded warrior. Somebody may have, um, walked away from somebody who cause damage, see how the feathers are flying. So somebody must have gotten their feathers kind of ruffled. Um, and now they're, you know, you are kind of re-examining why you went down certain roads or um, you're just kind of putting the pieces together of the pie, so to speak. You're learning the life's lessons. Maybe somebody who wasn't of your best interest with that fox. 
the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Alright, let's find out. I'm not really sure where I'm trying to go with this message yet. Let's get your overall energy. Nine of Cups, so you're feeling pretty good right now. Things are... Oh, there's dragonflies in that card. Things are flowing pretty steadily anyway. Or so it seems. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Water Elements, with the Knight of Earth. Oh, that's an interesting card. Very sweet. And the Two of the Air. Alright, so you may have a decision to make. Like I said, the placebo effect. What route do I take? Let me get a Cosmic Insight card on this, guys. We have the Knight of Water at the bottom again. Some of you guys may be into musical instruments. I'm getting the Manjo, to be exact. This is the Cosmic Insights we're going to pull from. We have Spy and we have Communicate. Ooh, somebody's watching you. Can promise, forgive, work it out. When someone got their eye on you, you are doing your research. Or this is you doing your research collective on somebody. Water signs, I just seen again. Confirmation. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this person has their eye on a water sign. If you're this water sign, then take it how it resonates with cycles so you may have moved on from this person um i just seen oh honeymoon honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding okay and i did say that you guys could have just recently been to a wedding and we have earth signs taurus virgo capricorn with cycles fate karma something's getting something beginning someone's getting something so well karma maybe i don't know we have manifest Let's pull a card for my collective within the need to know. Give us more clarity. All right, we have confession, we have manifest, and open your heart. So somebody is trying to work things out with you or confess something. We have manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. We have vacation at the bottom. You will be traveling soon. We have confession. Someone has to tell you something and open your heart. It will help you attract more love with gold digger they want more money being used i mean you're in this nine of cups energy right now i know it's not the nine of pentacles but that's still abundant in some way form or fashion we have intuition and liar with patience in just a few more months good things come to those who wait and we have intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back later to bite or back to bite later. Okay, and remember we had that card that said confession. Someone has something to tell you. Oh, where was it? Karma? Oh, that didn't come out. Or that one didn't come out. But I did see it. We have liar at the bottom. Be careful of someone sneaky with that fox. Anything else? But you're awoke, look. You're on your guard. I feel like you've healed. You've you've um, already closed that cycle out to something. So you already know what to expect. You've learned your lesson already. You're not going to make the same mistake twice. And then we're going to pull from this next. Ooh, caution at the bottom. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. All right, let's get your person's energy who's moving towards you. Boy, I'm like chatty this isn't normally my energy so maybe somebody that you're dealing with is very high strung or has ADHD or you have you just found out some exciting news that's the energy I'm embodying I don't know where it's coming from but I'm only the messenger <laughs> let's see who's moving towards you Six of water again, six of cups, past energy. You may be finding out some good news. Somebody may come to you with good news. Judgment and five of air, five of swords. 
We are in the year of the dragon. All right, the dragons are sticking out. I'm also getting vampire energy with that, so be careful. Um, somebody may be, yeah, the emperor, council of monarchs. Something is going to be overseen by um, the divine. Somebody I feel like is going through divine, um, what is it, like judgment day. My ears not ringing, but I just got like a heavy feeling in it, like a pressure. find out who's coming towards you six of swords somebody that you turned your back on or somebody that turned their back on you in the past of a situation see how her back's turned you want to make sure this person's intentions are good though i'm not getting any bad energy so far but we have the bleeding heart flower here so with fire in the background. Um, actually, that's her torch she's holding up. So this person may be coming in off of blind faith. We have five of fire. They may have a lot of fire in their chart. I'm getting with that card. Aries Leo Sagittarius. And we have the Empress. Ooh, this person with the rabbits is going to be um, wanting some type of forgiveness or your opinion on some, something or maybe even your acceptance they may even want to start a family with you this person okay now i'm getting energy with the bleeding heart that maybe this is a person that you um have a, a soul contract with or that you guys have had um a soul contract in your past life together something like that we have the full, so Aries energy. There's the bees. There's the, um, so she's kind of inside of the honeybee's nest. So I feel like this person's going to let you in, like, and they're, um, let, they're going to let you in maybe in their comfort space or in their heart space, emotionally speaking. They're going to let you um, get closer to them than they maybe had before in the past. I'm also getting cherry tree blossom or Japanese cherry blossom. I don't know how that may resonate with you. If it's a lotion you wear or a perfume that you use, a spray. Let's get two more cards for their energy. We have Elder of Water. Okay, so this person is very wise because they wanted me to say elder and not king. Um, elder, this person has a lot of wisdom, experience. I'm also now connecting to the druids, dru dryads, um, water elements. Back to the mermaid energy. This person may have one foot on land, one foot in water, or they just may seem like they're very balanced, or maybe they are. Maybe they've overcome a huge chapter in their life. I see two eyes, so as above, so below, so to speak. But like I said, more so one foot on land, one foot in the water. Temperance energy. We have Elder of Air, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Gemini. And we have Two of Water, Two of Cups. So yeah, with a ton of fire. This person does want to connect with you and let their walls down. Let their guards down. Or they're currently working something out. Because Ten of Wands is carrying a burden, carrying a heavy load. All right, let's get one more card for this person's overall energy. Then we're going to clarify what their intentions are. And pull a few more oracles on this spread for you guys. for their overall energy that my per the person my collective is connecting to. I am getting feminine energy, but it could also, you know, flip it, flip the roles. Very abundant with the Empress energy, very um, abundant, 
fertile, um, giver of life, nurturer. All right, that's why they call it Mother Earth. We have Queen of Earth. Queen of Earth. Queen of Pentacles. Very abundant. I feel like this person is in their... I don't get this message very often, but this person is in their prime, meaning they're ready to have children. They're at a point in their life where it goes, it's mere, it goes beyond mere everyday norm to norm thing. This is a spiritual um, thing, a spiritual path. That's why I said if you don't have a spiritual path, spirit's advising you to find one now. We have Knight of Fire, Knight of Wands, and Two of Earth. Because everything is from within. It comes from this. Everything is about the soul, the energies, um, how we all create, you know, make up. And we're one um, part of like a whole. We're a whole. We're not just, you know, um, we're energy, basically. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Fire, Knight of Wands. Yeah. Something wonderful is going to, you may also have somebody, um, some Native American in your, and I'm also getting Japanese or Korean energy as well in your past life, a medicine woman, a healer, but this is, I'm um, getting auntie or, um, sister energy with that card. The sun at the bottom. Leo energy. I'm hearing Tiana. And someone speaks French. All right. Butterfly is about um, spirits, ancestors, energies, and also being reborn. The soul. So that's message for somebody confirmation if you've been seeing um, butterflies. That spirit literally um, meeting with your soul and connecting with you, you know, um, with your energy, with your essence, your aura. Okay, we have sexuality with liar. So be careful of someone sneaky and someone is still figuring themselves out. So use your discretion, like with that nine of wands, nine of fire, you know what's best for you. Okay. What, what else does my collective need to know at this time? Be aware of. With this energy here. With the person they're connecting to. Again, I just seen cycles and health. I don't know if these are the same decks, but different. Guess we'll find out. Someone needs to pay attention to their health. We have Gold Digger again, and I just heard Radio Scam, a scam. Gold Digger, and yes, luck is on your side. Would they want your money being used? So somebody could be being scammed, so pay very close attention to your things. We have No. It's not the right time. We have Gambling, problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances, and I got that energy in the beginning. With addiction, with white trash, and you know, those cards, the yellow ones. We have patience, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait, and we have sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Yeah, so these are the same cards. Oh, well, confirmation, right? The doves, doves to me represent innocence, purity, 
freedom, kind of like a d direct link um, to God, a message from God that you're on the right path. Be, you know, something about um, getting that elegance, energy, and grace and generosity. Graceful, calm, kind, peaceful. We have pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Wow. Pure, also. I just didn't give it time with health. Hmm. Someone's health may not be doing so good. Could be this pregnant woman's, pregnant lady. Or maybe the, the child inside her womb and her belly isn't. It's just sending healing energy, love and light. Thank you. We have communicate. Can promise, forgive, and work it out. And I just heard I take it back. So somebody may have said something that they now are taking back. They're feeling bad about or feeling sorry. Like they wish they never would have said that. Said what they said to this whoever this person is. If it's your, you know, um, person or somebody close to you. Maybe like a family member. We have narcissists. Someone is too full of themselves. Would well, they'll be back. A narcissist will be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Health and distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. With health issues could arise. Alright guys, I'm going to put these up. pull from the love oracle I almost said true love oracle <laughs> I had to reread that by simplistic mystic this is on Amazon Ooh, reconciliation with liquid courage bravery confidence intoxicated or odd behavior okay that energy talkative energy we have wedding with reconciliation be on the lookout for your soulmate and i'm going to pull from one of my decks i haven't uh, used in a while that i made we have text message communication news phone call and direct message with divine intervention confirmation Serpendipity, catalyst, supernatural with karma, confirmation, and we have mystery, unknown, enigma, illusion, and confusing. We have spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, and rebirth with travel, distance, boundaries, far apart, and get away. So vacation confirmation. The deck I'm going to be um, pulling from is called the Love Horse uh, Love Tarot and Egyptian Love Tarot. I got the idea off the horoscope.com. So, if you are dealing with somebody, which I have a feeling that a mass majority of you are not, a vast majority, but anyway, um, this is for those that are, or just started talking to somebody new, regardless, um, this is going to give me, um, or give you guys the energy, what you need to know, um, or to help given your circumstance and let me know where you guys are concerning your relationship, like dictating, um, so it can give you advice. 
on, you know, how to act, to proceed forward, so on and so forth. Does my collective need to know uh, concerning their person of interest at this time? We have the moon. Okay, I'm getting strength energy too for some reason. We have the sun at the bottom. Justice. All right, 18, the moon. Um, can, uh, cancer energy again, Pisces energy, like in the very beginning on the dice. With the moon influencing your most intimate relationships right now, you may feel like you are being driven by something beyond your control. Allow these powerful feelings or allow these powerful feelings will guide you toward your deepest impulses and emotions. As you explore your own unconscious realms, you will find that you are gradually able to develop a depth and insight that will serve you well in your encounters with others. Like I said, you need your gifts, you need your intuition. Somebody may have been trying to alter you or um, take those away from you. Justice, your first card out. It's not going to happen. Spirit's not going to let it happen. We have the Emperor. Okay, confirmation. You're being guided. A hidden aspect of the past is revealed and something that lets you tear down a wall that kept you boxed in. What old memory fogs the, fogs the mind and your emotions today? Let it go because it's easy to do so now. The freedom turns into uh, courageously liberated, wise, and realistic energy. If single, it eases a focus on desired outcomes that allow someone to feel free to express warmth without pressure, and they will. We have temperance. There's a temperance card. We have death. Scorpio energy at the bottom, 13, 14, 13, 18, and 4. If you are probably feeling a sense, or you are probably feeling a sense of confidence and optimism in regard to love and romance right now, as the temperance card influences your relationships, you have an opportunity to grow and expand your consciousness around love as you take advantage of this energy. As you combine the perfect combination of ingredients, notice what your perfect love recipe is and take careful note of this blend for the future. Their strength. Bada bing, bada boom. Lots of things come to light in a dream. Light in a dream today. You could dream of someone before you meet them. This card also tells you that some dreams have been within your reach and you have just refused to grasp them. Look closely because you could be taking someone important for granted. In a long time partnership, expect deja vu experiences today. The messages in the events are sources of strength in your union. And then we have right here. 13, death, Scorpio energy. Your innate sense of timing has put you in the right place today. Your intuition tells you when to act. In this light, should you go or should you continue to delay a decision, decide and a huge boulder press, pressed against your heart rolls away. Is it time to forgive and release the offender? Heal angers and resentments that have built over the years? Good timing is rare. Today is a golden moment. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope this helped. Let me know. Sending love and light. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye now.